Hi everybody. Welcome to my famous paradise chili that I make once a year. So I start off with five pounds of ground beef. Then I add in some Montreal steak seasoning and some Himalayan pink salt and stir that all up. Get it all nice and mixed in, incorporated. And just keep on stirring until the meat starts cooking all the way down. Want to get it to a nice dark brown. Then I'm adding in some chopped onions. Those are just regular yellow onions. Mix those all in. I don't want them to be too uh, fried because they're going to go in the big pot. So I want them to have a little bit of texture still to them. So now I'm getting my stock pot ready. Adding some chicken broth. I added about two quarts of chicken broth to it. That should give it a better flavor because I normally just use water. And then I drained and strained all of my meat and onions. And now I'm going to put those into the chicken broth. Celery, red bell peppers, and then green bell peppers. The only thing I'm missing this year is my favorite black olives. Then I like to use a whole container of dark red chili powder. If you don't want it too, too spicy, just use half the container. But I like the spice. I like the bite. Make it make that chili bite me back. Then stir that all in. And then I, one of my other favorite pieces is pineapples. I love a little sweet texture in every bite because it balances out all that spice that's in there and that's looking all good and sultry look at that mm, mm, mm. i'm telling you that chili was bussing and i made some corn muffins they're just the tops that little pan just makes the tops of a corn muffin so i'm gonna cut those up into dices and then i'll just sprinkle those on oh my god look at that chili you can't tell me that ain't some good looking chili and I'm going to tell you, it's some good tasting chili. Because that chili was so good. Can't have chili without sour cream on the top. Got to have some sour cream. And got to have some extra sharp cheddar cheese. I like extra sharp. Then green onions, chopped up. That's mainly just for uh, aesthetics. Because I already have all that onions mixed into the meat. The green color on the top is just the picture that chili's supposed to have. <laughs> so you got the diced cornbread on there. And then we're going to add some beautiful, delicious salted butter. And just drizzle that one to the top. Oh my goodness. This chili was amazing. This chili, it's a reason why I can only make this chili once a year. If I made this chili every day... Look at that butter. Look at that melted butter. Mm, mm, mm. Right onto the corn muffin. And all you need is your spoon. And bon appetit, baby.